Today, we're gonna to be taking this thrifted jewelry box and giving it a complete makeover. It was $3.99 at my local Goodwill and the music box in it works just beautifully. As always, the first thing I do is take it apart, whatever I can take apart and clean it. Here, all I really had to do was take off the tape and then I looked inside to make sure that nothing was really filthy. There was just some lint and I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. So after I checked all the drawers, I listened to the music for a second to make sure that was working. Couldn't identify the song, but it's definitely working really nice. And these hardware do not come off because you cannot get behind them to get them out. So they are gonna be painted. Inside, I found a little surprise of a little tiny pocket knife. It says Bell, and then there's a company in New York, New York. I gave it to my husband because it was just the cutest little thing. I grabbed my painter's tape and that way we're just going to run the painter's tape over that velvet to get out any lint. If there had been stains, I would take a magic eraser and first try to get out the stains because I like to use the velvet if I can without replacing or painting it. Next, I'm getting some Bonding Boss by Dixie Belle. It's an adhesion and bleed through primer. I'm not worried about bleed through, but at this slick and shiny surface, rather than sanding it, I just give it one quick coat of an adhesion primer. That way I know my paint will stick on for longevity. Since most jewelry boxes are used, you don't want any fingernails or anything bothering with the finish. So this just gives you a little bit of an insurance that your paint is gonna properly lay it here and stay on there forever. So I give everything just one quick coat. Normally I would give it two on the piece of furniture, but jewelry boxes just require one. And again, I'm not worried about the stain bleeding through because we didn't sand it or anything. And I'm using gray because I'm not sure what color I'm actually gonna paint the box at this point. Bonding boss comes in white, gray, and clear. Clear is perfect for when you're sanding back to wood that you just have that bonding boss on there. Now each box, if I'm using the original velvet inside, I pick my colors to kind of go with that velvet. So here I'm picking this beautiful green because I'm gonna be using a transfer that pulls the green and the inside color on that velvet together. This is a really rich green called English Ivy, and we're actually gonna to tone it down later with some brown wax and add a transfer. But for right now, we're just giving it two coats, sanding lightly in between, and Dixie Belle's paint is a mineral chalk-based paint, which you just give it a light sanding to knock off the nub of the paint and give it that smooth, buttery finish. Next, I went into my transfer stash and found two transfers I haven't used in a while, and I'm gonna put them together to make a beautiful combination. First, I'm using Bohemian Dream, and I'm using just this gold part on the bottom here, and we're gonna cut it apart and put it on the side and across the front of the drawers. That way, it'll pick up some of that gold, yellowish kind of color in the transfer and go along with that inside box interior color. Once I get the piece cut the way I need it, I get my burnishing stick and peel away that backing on the transfer. Transfers have this film that they're actually attached to, they're micro thin vinyl, and that way you just burnish them onto your piece, gently pulling away that film until it releases and stays on your transfer. At the end, you will give it one coat of your favorite sealer. That way it just makes sure that it stays down for the duration of the life of this box. Transfers are a great way to transform a piece of furniture or small things like jewelry box or crafts. I did add some to the outside of the drawers. I wasn't gonna cover the front of the drawers at first and I was just gonna leave that kind of like outside edge. So that's why I'm cutting it apart like this. But after I got it done, I realized that my vision in my head wasn't gonna work out and I decided to cover the whole front of those drawers anyway. So that's why I'm kind of doing this in a strange way of just putting it on those really thin areas right now instead of putting down the entire transfer. So I cut all those thin pieces out. And like I said, in a second, you're gonna see me go back and add in all those pieces because I really didn't like how it looked. I thought I would be able to accent the drawers and make it kind of like funky looking, but I realized it just wasn't gonna work. So here, as I put the drawers back in, you can see what I'm talking about, that it just wasn't gonna look right. Now, for now, I moved on to the top. I wanted to pick out one of these bunches of flowers and use one of the pieces that had like that gold yellowish kind of flower in it to make sure that everything looks cohesive at the end. 
I'll pull away that backing, put the transfer down, rubbed it on to make sure there's no air bubbles, and grab my burnishing stick to make sure that that transfer is down tightly before I start pulling away that film to make sure that it's adhered. You don't want to rush this process, you just go nice and slow, and as it releases you'll be able to tell. So I'm not pulling on this film, I'm just lifting it up, and any pieces that aren't stuck I put them back down and get them to go on smoothly. Again, when I'm finished with this box, I will give it a coat of my favorite sealer. Here I used flat, just to make sure that everything stays on nicely. I also picked out a few bunches of flowers to put on the side on top of the other transfer, because I think it's gonna look really pretty. So we're gonna take this one here and just figure out how to position it the best way by turning it around, putting it on top, trying to figure out which way to my eye it looks best. I settled on this put it down and started burnishing it on, just like all the other pieces. And layering transfers is a really fun way to get some depth and dimension, and not everybody thinks that you can do it, but you can. Now we're moving on to covering those drawers as I really just kept looking at it thinking this is not gonna work out. So what I did is gently cut these into pieces and went around that hardware. Again, it does not come off without damaging the box and damaging the felt inside. So we're just working around it gently going in all those curves and pulling back those pieces. This way, I know that that's on there the best that I can. I'm not bothering the hardware and I'm just doing the best I can with this transfer in pieces. Now, because this wasn't my original plan, I have to cut it into pieces rather than going down from the drawer to the middle piece to the other drawer on the bottom. So that's okay, it's fine. I thought something was gonna work, it didn't work, and now I'm just piecing it together. So it does take some time and patience, but it'll be worth it in the end. The last accent that I'm gonna put on this box is some brown wax. This is called Bestang Wax by Dixieville. It's a water-based wax, and I'm just using it as an accent. So I'm gonna run it along here. It's gonna look kind of messy and sloppy at the moment, but we're gonna wipe back to make sure that we take away some of that and just leave some grunge. I will tell you that I did coat the entire box with a flat sealer before this and let it dry until the next day. That way when I'm waxing, I'm able to wipe away the wax rather than it getting into the porous surfaces because wax itself can be a sealer. So if I put a sealer down and I'm just using this as an accent, I'm able to wipe it away, leave a tiny bit of it left on there. And that way I just get that little mild grungy vintage look. You can see me putting it on the drawer kind of heavy, wiping it away. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but when I grab the second drawer in a second and show you them side by side, you'll see that this drawer just has a little bit of dimension to it. The box came out beautiful. I really love it. It's the first time I kind of painted with this green and added transfers to it. I'm absolutely in love. They will be, it will be available with the rest of my boxes in my Etsy shop. I'll put that link below in the comments and I appreciate you all for watching. I hope you all go to the thrift store, grab a box and redo it for yourself. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.